Seasons like this, it can be difficult for us to know how to respond to everything that's going on around us. Like those of us who are in majority white culture, you know, we're being, being drawn into a lot of really difficult and heavy conversations. We're wrestling with a lot of truths that we haven't wrestled with before. We're being confronted with our histories and with our blind spots. And it can be difficult for us to know what to say, but we want to say something. We wanna respond, we wanna do the right thing. We wanna make things right and be on the right side of history. One of the things that I have really come to understand and I'm continuing to learn is that one of the best ways that I can respond is to just be silent and to listen, to come to the table of conversation with open ears and an open heart and with a posture of prayerfulness and humility, a willingness to, uh, to be uncomfortable and to be transformed and confronted. So that's really why I wrote this song, A Prayer for the People, because I, I wanted to pray that for myself and for all of us who are experiencing that tension right now. And so for the next few days, uh, I'm just gonna walk us through a series of videos that will take us through the lyrical content of this song and not only illuminate what I'm singing about and talking about, but to make this prayer your own as you wrestle with the different ways that you are struggling through this season, the ways that you would like to respond. Uh, my prayer is that God would do a work first in our hearts and he would teach us. He would teach us how to enter in with compassion and empathy and love so that we can honor and love our neighbors well as we join arms with them to build a better community. And so I invite you to just join me through this little series to learn and grow together. And uh, hopefully it'll be meaningful and challenging uh, to you. So I look forward to it and hope you will too.